Okay, this is the second part of our consumer protection topic. This time, we'll uh, consider consumer product and service warranties. Okay, ito yung ikapangalawang topic na may tatlong asterisk na green doon sa last na discussion. Okay, so take note, ito ay warranties. About this, this topic is about warranties. And you have to remember, in your law on sales, you have warranties sa sale uh, which include which may be express warranties the express warranties if you can still remember these are the warranties that the parties agree on or stipulated upon okay there is another form of warranty which is more important yung implied warranties okay if you can still remember we have one is the warranties that the that the seller or the vendor has the title to the product and we can transfer title to the thing sold. Okay. Number two is warranty against hidden defects. Okay. And then number three is the warranty against eviction. Okay. Those are your implied warranties. Okay. You have to remember that implied warranties okay, are considered part of the contract of sale even if they have not, they have not been agreed upon. Except only if you, if the parties okay, waive, waives, waive these uh, uh, implied warranties. But nonetheless, if these warranties are not agreed upon, implied warranties are considered part of the contract of sales. Now we are con we are talking about consumer products. Of course, this will involve sales also. Okay, the benta, bumili, ng product and service. So, anong provisions dito? Ang mag-implement or, or mag-oversee or magbantay about warranties is a DTI. Okay. Part of the, then, the provisions of the Civil Code on conditions and warranties shall govern all contracts of sales with conditions and warranties. So, kasama daw dito sa Consumer Act, yung provisions ng Civil Code pertaining to warranties and conditions if agreed upon by the parties. Okay. So, Ito naman ang additional provisions binigay ng Consumer Act. So, aside sa provisions ng Civil Code on Warranties, may additional provision na binigay ang Consumer Act. Number one, okay, in the, in, in the, in the event of express warranty, ito yung warranty na nag-agree ang seller as well as the buyer. Okay, so warranty. So, if you can remember, you can imagine pala, Okay, pag mabibili ka na mga cellphone, appliances, sasakyan, okay, may, may warranty card, o oh, express warranty yun. Okay, yun yung nagbibigay ang seller ng warranty pertaining doon sa product. Now, take note, this express warranty is not mandatory. Depende na lang kung papasok ang parties dyan o hindi. But siguro, para gusto nila makabenta ng marami, the seller, sometimes, or more often, nagbibigay ng warranty. Para mas may ganyo ang mga buyers na bumili. So, usually, meron siyang uh, warranty card. Okay. Upon buying the product, you will uh, write your name, date, or purchase on the warranty card. Then, itatago mo yung warranty card as pati yung resibo so that pag may defect, pag may claim ka sa warranty, yun ang ipapakita mo. Okay? So, additional provisions on express warranty muna. Number one, Okay, set, these are set forth, the set forth that terms of warranty in a clear and deadly understandable language and clearly identify the seller as the warrantor. So, mas, kaya may warranty card para, para nandun ang terms. Okay, nandun ang, doon na set forth yung terms sa warranty card. And identify the party to whom the warranty extended, yung bumili, yung sulat yung pangalan doon. State the products or parts covered. And then, state that what the consumer must do to avail the rights which accrue to the warranty. Stipulate the period within which, after notice of defect, okay, the warranty will perform any obligation under the warranty. So, nakasulat natin kung ilang, ilang, ang period ng warranty, ilang months, ilang years, nakasulat na. Okay, so, these are just uh, reading materials. So, all written warranties or guarantees, okay, minsan tinatawag guarantees din, 
issued by a manufacturer, producer, or importer should be operative from the moment of sale. So, mag-take effect yung warranty, yung guarantee from the time of sale. And all sales made by the distributor shall be reported to the manufacturer of the product within 30 days of purchase unless agreed upon by the parties. Okay. <clears throat> so, yung nagbenta, magbigay ng report doon sa manufacturer, producer, or importer within 30 days. Okay. So, failure of the distributor yung nagbenta to make the report doon sa manufacturer, producer, or importer. Okay. Hindi niya magiging liable sa warranty yung manufacturer, producer, or reporter dahil hindi nag-report si distributor. So, sino na ang magiging liable sa warranty? Si distributor na. Hindi na si manufacturer, producer, or reporter. Okay. So, kung bumili ka ng cellphone sa isang tindahan, tindahan A, kunwari, bumili ka ng isang cellphone, Samsung, kunwari, ang warranty card ay Samsung. Si Samsung ang mag- warranty niyan. So, that is why si tindahan A mas report yun kay Samsung. Para kung may warranty ka na i-claim, si Samsung ang mag-answer. But, if hindi siya nag-report, si tindahan A ang mag uh, laging liable doon sa warranty. Pag hindi siya nag-report. Okay. The retailer shall be subsidiary liable under the warranty in case of failure of the boat and mapaksyon din siya to to honor the warranty. Subsidiarily liable pa rin pala yung uh, nagbenta. If hindi mag uh, owner ng warranty si manufacturer or distributor, okay, si retailer ang habuli na ngayon. Kung ayaw nila i-honor yung warranty, di mo reklamo ka sa DTI. Why? Because it is the DTI who is the implementing agency for this uh, uh, for this topic. So, how do you enforce your warranty or how do you claim warranty or guarantee? Okay, the warranty rights can be enforced by presentment of a claim. To this end, the person needs to present in only the uh, warranty card or the official receipt along with the product to be serviced and returned to the immediate seller. That's why it's very important. Itago mo yung warranty card at official receipt. Okay. Kung meron kang box or meron kang ano, ano, para transparent na folder, O, i-keep mo yung mga, office, mga warranty card at official receipt, especially if mga gadgets, mga, mga, mga laptops, gano'n, mga mahal, na hindi mo kayang i-forgo i pag may warranty breach. Okay, so, itago mo so that you can claim warranty later on. So, all covenants, stipulations, arguments contrary to the following provisions shall be without legal effect. So, hindi pwede mag-agree otherwise. Hindi pwede i-waive ito. Okay. Full warranty. Pag sinabing full warranty, what do you mean? Okay. If the warranty meets the following minimum requirements, itong minimum requirements na kasulat sa Article 68C1 ng Consumer Act. So, if the warranty card, nandito, it, 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 ito lahat na sa warranty card, ang ibig sabihin, full warranty. Okay. So, the warrantor will remedy such consumer product within a reasonable time without charge in case of defect, malfunction, or failure to conform with the such written authority. So, without charge, number one. Number two, the warrantor will permit the consumer to elect whether to ask for a refund or replacement without charge of such product or part as the case may be. Where after reasonable number of attempts to remedy the, the, the malfunction, the, the product continues to have the defect or malfunction. So, merong option ang buyer to refund or replace the product or parts na sira. So, pag limited warranty, ibig sabihin, if the warranty does not meet the minimum requirement. So, hindi, hindi bawal ang limited warranty. Okay? Sabi lang dito sa Consumer Act, if kulang yung hindi full warranty, hindi limited warranty. Ibig sabihin, yung manufacturer, dealer, buyer, reporter, seller, okay, only wants to limit is liability. That is not prohibited. Okay? It is not prohibited. Kaya pwede mag-limited warranty. Duration of warranty. Hanggang kailan? Ang warranty. The seller and the consumer may stipulate the period within which the express warranty shall be enforceable. So, pwede siya mag-agree. If the applied warranty or merchantability accompanies an express warranty, both will be of equal duration. 
So, you call the duration ng implied at saka express warranty. Any other implied warranty shall endure not less than 60 days nor more than 1 year following the sale of the new consumer products. Okay. So, number one, pwede mag-agree ang buyer and seller kung ilang ano ang period. If hindi sila nag-agree, it should not be less than 60 days nor more than 1 year. Okay. Breach of warranties. In the case of breach of express warranty, express muna, the consumer may elect to have the goods repaired or to have its purchase price refunded by the warrantor. Okay. In the case of repair of the product, in whole or in part, is chosen by the buyer. The warranty work, yung trabaho ng na inayos, warranty work yun, must be made to conform to the express warranty within 30 days by either the warrantor or his representative. In the 30-day period, however, may be extended by conditions which are beyond the control of the warrantor or his representative. In case a refund ang pinili, the amount directly attributable to the use of the consumer prior to the discovery of the non-conformity shall be deducted. So, hindi wala mga tingin refund di minus yung kung sa tingin nyo ilan yung uh, amount na attributable to the use of the consumer prior sa discovery ng defect. Bahala na kayo mag-agree doon. If hindi kayo mag-agree, doon kayo sa DTI mag-settle. Okay, in case of breach of implied warranty, karang na express yung implied warranty, the consumer may retain the goods and recover damages. Okay, so hindi nga ibalik, mag-access na sa damages. Or, reject the goods, cancel the contract, and recover from the seller so much of the purchase price has been paid, including damages. So, kaya lang ito doon sa ano? Law on sales. Okay, damages only or rescission with damages. Okay, so bago ito, warranties in the supply of services. Remember, class, uh, law on sales, hindi kasali ang services because under sa civil code, uh, yung contract of services is not the same as contract of sale. So yung mga warranties na sinabi doon sa civil code, those only referred to uh, sale of products, of things. Pero yung supply of services, wala na mention doon. So, dito sa Consumer Act, may warranty din ang services. Okay. There is an implied warranty sa services that, of course, pwede sila mag-agree on express warranties kapag ka-service ang binigay. Okay. Service yung binenta. So, Pwede sila mag-agree ang any express warranty. Pero meron ding implied warranty, sabi ng consumer. This is, this, uh, this are, the service will be rendered with due care and skill. Yun ang warranty. Okay, nag-warrant nag ng supplier ng services na yung i-render niya na service is with due care and with skill. Number two, any material yung ginamit doon sa pag-perform ng service will be reasonably fit for the purpose for which it is supplied. So, gagawin ng supplier ng services yung due care, tapos with skill, and then yung mga materials na gamitin niya ay karapat dapat fit for the purpose of the service supply. Where the consumer makes known to the seller the particular purpose for which the services are required. So, minsan kasi yung, 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 yung nag-avail nag ng service, sinasabi niya yung purpose niya. Okay? So, pag sinabi ng consumer doon sa seller yung purpose niya, ito ang mangyari. There is an implied warranty that the services supplied under the contract and any material supplied in connection with it will be reasonably fit for the purpose na sinabi ng consumer. Unless it can be shown na hindi yun ang expect ng consumer. Okay. Pero generally, pag ang supplier of services nag-agree doon sa sinabi ng customer, Okay, there is an implied warranty na yung gagawin services ng seller will be fit doon sa expectation ng consumer. Pati yung materials na gagamitin should be fit for that purpose. Professional services. May warranty din ba? Sabi ng Consumer Act, the provisions of this act on warranty shall not apply to professional services of CPAs, architects, engineers, lawyers, veterinarians, optometrists, Pharmacists, nurses, nutritionists, dietitians, physical therapists, salesmen, 
medical and dental practitioners and other professionals engaged in their respective professional endeavors. Okay. So, hindi applicable dito sa mga naka-enumerate. Applicable lang ito doon sa uh, wala dito sa enumeration. Sabi ko, sir, bakit may salesman? Yung salesman, wala siya kasama doon sa warranty. Pero yung dahil representative lang yung salesman, yung company na gina-represent niya, yun ang cover my warranty. Yun ang nagbibigyan ng warranty, hindi lang salesman. Guarantee of service firms, okay, mga company na engage in services. Service firms shall guarantee workman workmanship and replacement of spare parts for a period of not less than 90 days. This shall be indicated in the pertinent invoices. invoices. Oh, that is self-explanatory. So, kapag ka business firm, nag-render ng service, ang negosyo nila is to render service. Okay. Any spare parts. Usually, itong mga repair service dito eh. Okay. Uh, replacement of spare parts for period not less than 90 days which shall be indicated in the invoices. Okay. No return exchange policy. Pwede ba? It is actually prohibited. Okay. I will also ask you to read, I will provide the link on why no return exchange policy is prohibited by the Consumer Act. After listening to this lecture, you read that link. You read that uh, article doon uh, sa link na ibibigay. Okay? This is the end of part 2.